Hi everyone, uh, in this video I am going to quickly show you how you can convert a KML file into a shape file and also the other way around a shape file to a KML file. So KML files are generally used in uh, Google Earth. So this is a KML file and if I open it, you can see what is going to happen. Uh, the Earth, Google Earth will be, you know, the KML file will be loaded onto the Google Earth uh, map. You can see it. This is the polygon representing my study area. So, how can I convert this into a shape file in QGIS? It's relatively simple. Uh, I'm closing it now. And I have already opened my QGIS, create new empty project. And then it's very simple. Uh, all you have to do is you, you simply have to drag and drop the KML file into your QGIS canvas. There it goes. And in order to convert it, actually, you all you need to do is just do a right click on this uh, our study area KML file layer and go to export and there you will find an option called save features as if you click there you will see an option called format and if you click on the drop down menu you can see a variety of uh, formats in which uh, geographical features can be saved geo package uh, the shapefile uh, csv and also kml is there so among these uh, now we are going to save it as a shapefile, right? S3 shapefile. So I'm choosing it and the file name uh, and the location where you want to save it can be selected from here by clicking on this browse. I'm going to desktop and this is going to be my study area shapefile. I will create a new folder. study area okay so now i'm going to save the uh, converted kml file into this uh, study area folder which will be which will appear as a shape file so just click save and okay that's it so this is the study area folder and if i open it you can see the .ssp file here. So the thing about shapefile is that it's not just a single file. It comes with some associated files like .prg, .cpg, .tpf. So you need uh, all these files for that particular shapefile to, you know, appear in QGIS. So without, if any of these files, some supporting files are missing, then the shapefile won't appear. There will be an error when you try to import it into QGIS. So that's it. Similar way, you can also uh, export a shape file as a KML file. So this is the KML file we initially uploaded. I'm going to remove it. And this is the shape file which just, just we uh, exported into my study area folder, this folder. So whenever you uh, export uh, a geographical feature, a shape, uh, when you, whenever you export a file, or when you save a file into your desktop or your drive, what happens is that the file will be saved there. And in addition to that, QGIS will automatically uh, re-import that saved file back to its canvas. So that is what happened here. Anyways, I'll import that shape file once more. Let's remove it. And this is the study area shape file we just saved. So among these, you just have to drag and drop this SSP file only. You don't have to drag and drop the remaining files. Done. That's it. Now you can do the same procedure again. Right click. Go to export and save features as. Now we need to save it as a KML file, right? So go to format and under the drop down menu, you can choose a KML key hold markup language. Just click there and choose your destination. Let it be the same folder study area. So this is going to be study area KML done and you just click OK. So the layer has been exported and in addition it, it got re-imported into this uh, QGIS canvas. That's what you see here now study area KML this particular file. 
so it's simple in qgis you can you know convert these uh, different different uh, file formats so that's it thanks for watching we will uh, i'll meet you in my next video